Hello guys and welcome to another episode of whatever. <coughs> I actually haven't started this series. But I, I was looking in uh, Steam and I found this cool thing where you actually take apart guns and learn on how they functioned and whatnot. And I enjoyed this so much I thought I'd try showing it to you guys. So, basically we start off with field, oh yeah I already customized this. Just a paint job. Doesn't affect anything. But uh, yeah. Pretty crazy. Yep, that was the field strip. But apparently this was the old pocket pistol in uh, 17 or 1800s. So, wasn't the best. But hey, got two giant bullets in it. Yeah, it'll cause some damage. But the thing is, the field strip is nothing compared to taking it apart completely. But basically it's kind of like a puzzle. You have to take out the right parts at the right times and whatnot. What? Well, it's like, as I said, a puzzle. Except with this puzzle you have to take it apart and put it back together. So it's kind of weird. But it gets more and more challenging. This is the tutorial pistol. So. And I already completed that. I wasn't planning on doing video on it. This. But I found it so awesome. I thought I'd share it with you guys. So. But as you can see. We'll have a lot of more tiny pieces with the other guns. It is crazy. But this was actually an American model. So I found that quite interesting. But they have old and n newer weapons. So that's cool. <laughs> Oh, oops. Run piece. But as you progress, it gives you challenges. Like, if you click one wrong piece, you lose or something like that. Yeah. So basically, it's forcing you to reckon remember how to take this thing apart and whatnot and how to put it back together. Quite crazy. But I'll be doing a War of Thunder video tomorrow. So, and I'll be doing a birthday shout out that day. So that'll be fun. Okay, basically with operation you just see how it would work. Yeah. Basically shows you what it does. Oosh. Oosh. I'm still trying to figure out how they did the double pistol thing. So lands there. Oh, I see. It goes up one each time. Never mind. <laughs> but anyhow. There's that man here. Super game. What if you get one step wrong? You 
game over. <laughs> Crazy, dude. You can also do shooting ranges. I have one, which is the AK-47. Pretty cool. Okay, do do do. Do 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 do. And to answer questions, yes, I am quite interested in war technology and whatnot. Of course, for someone who's wanting to go into the military, it's going to be interesting to me. Oh, I'm hesitant that I get everything out. Oh. Uh, uh. Do 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 Oh yeah. Remington Duringer. Alright, now I have to reassemble this dang thing. Do 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 do. And no, I did not unlock all the weapons yet, so there was the oh oh oh. Gotta restart that. I guess I'll do one episode per gun. So I don't overflow you with information and whatnot. So, so do 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 do. Do 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 do. For some reason, I always like taking apart tiny pieces and then put them back in. Yeah, that's my brother and his friend in the background. They're doing their own thing, so sorry if you can hear them. Oh, uh, they're looking at a bunch of Sonic stuff. So. Honestly, it's, that's not my kind of thing. Okay. Don't make the same mistake. Dark Pisces. Don't make the same mistake. I'll just add these in. Okay. Put that there. Uh, uh, uh. Do do. Whew. There we go. Ooh, ooh, hundred and thirty XP. I get XP so I can unlock other guns. So that's cool. But uh okay now for hardcore I can't double tap anymore, which is a habit you start getting into because all the other thing get modes require you to double tap. So it's kinda scary. Cause you get because if you mess up once I think you fail. Oh wait, no, it reduces your score, which is up there. Oh boy. Oh 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes, take it apart the gun and put it back together. Wow, I really have an interesting life, do I? <sighs> no, my life isn't really that interesting. And some of the viewers know that. Don't really do much. Ah. Well, by less the extra score. Oh, usually I just restart, but I don't think you guys would like that. Let me know in the comments below, and also let me know if you want me to continue doing this because I think this is awesome. If you guys don't want to watch me do this, I'll probably just do it on my own then. Call me what you want, I don't care. Just guess what, before I joined the military it's good to know your weapons. I don't care what you say. Hey boys, dinner's on the stove, it should be ready in about 15-20 minutes. Uh, I'm back, oh my, my grandma. Just said it was dinner time, so just in time because we just finished pistol. But I could tell you about these. So basically, Varunity Model 95 is a double barrel pocket pistol commonly recognized as a Durringer, but design was little changed during a production run of nearly 70 years for several financial reorganizations of the manufacturer. Causing repeating serial number sequences, guns were often were offered with engraving or plain blued or nickel plated finish with grips of metal, walnut, rosewood, hard rubber, ivory, or pearl. The earliest production had no extractors. And have E. Remington and Sons Elyon New York stamped on the side of the barrel, and Elliot's patent December 12, 18. 65 stamped on the left side of the barrel. These inscriptions were swapped to opposite sides of the barrel when structures were added in 1869. In 1880, the inscription was changed to E. Remington and Sons Elian N. Y. Elliot's patent of December 12, 1865, and placed atop the barrel rib. The barrel rib top inscription changed to Remington's Remington Arms Co. Sorry, I'm about to read out loud. Alien, New York in 1888, and again to Remington Arms, UMCCO, Alien, New York in 1910. The Remington Double Deringer Type Pistol, Place of Origin, United States. Service History, in service 1895. Production History, Designer Elliot. Designed 12th. Well, December 12, 1865. Unit cost eight dollars. Manufacturer Remington Arms. Produced 1866 for 1935. Number built 132,000. Specifications: weight 11 ounces, 0 0.31 kilograms, I think. Length 4.875 inches, 12.38 centimeters. Barrel length 3 inch, 7.6 centimeter. Cartridge. 0.41 short. Action, single action, sights, iron sights. So, that's the Remington Deeringer. So, yeah. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these, because I would really love it if you would love me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh. Is Coca-Cola?